Let me introduce you to 7OS 5.0. So what has changed in this new release? First of all, we have replaced our deskbar with the XFCE 4 panel deskbar mode, as you can see in the top right corner. This allows you to use tray icons. We have an integrated calendar now. We have the option to just simply with a right click go and set the properties for the menu button and the menu itself so we can check and activate and deactivate menu items or create new menu items very easily. Also we have now the option to just simply expand our panel, our deskbar with a right click and then add to panel and then we have various different plugins that we can add just like for example a menu tree for our files and folders as you can see here and this allows us to just simply open up a folder in our new file manager. Thuna 1.5 is our new default file manager which has some yeah, quite nice additions just like for example a categorized bookmarks view that categorize between devices, places and network and you have now the option to just simply open up a new tab. Editing and upload your screencast files is very easy in 7OS 5.0. We have OpenShot as our default video editor and you can then just simply drag and drop a file into it. You can then just work on the file, edit it, add some transitions, add some effects and so on and then you have the option to either simply save it on your hard disk there are different profiles just like for example blu-ray dvd or other just like web and you can then just simply export it as youtube video for example or vimeo video uh, or to wikipedia after you've edited and you've saved it you can also directly upload it to youtube If you want to download a video from YouTube, this is also possible with our downloading tool Jaft, yet another VideoTube downloader. This allows you not to only download or play the video, but also convert it or extract directly to an MP3 file. You can also manually extract or convert a video file just by right clicking, click on convert and then you can just simply deactivate the video for example, choose an audio format just like for example mp3 and click on encode. Editing audio files is possible with our audio editor Audacity which is available either by right clicking the mp3 file or the WAV file or the org file and choosing it or by the menu and this allows you to just simply easily edit your audio file. You can just simply add for example a fade out transition effects fade out or just cut something out of your music file if you want to just play back our audio file or manage audio files you can do so with the dead beef music player which allows you not to only play back the audio file but also manage various different playlists and also it is extendable via plugins. This and even more only on 7OS 5.0